former President Donald Trump made his return to Butler this past weekend, and some of his remarks from the rally are being questioned. Our Philip Ward joins us now. Philip, you've been getting reaction. Good evening, Mike. We talked with local Republican leaders who are responding to the former president's rhetoric. Chairman Eddie, what do you make of former President Trump's comments this weekend? I watched part of the, uh, the rally, and I don't remember anything that was really insightful. I mean, most of the rally was about honoring the young man that was killed during his uh, earlier rally in Butler, and it was very emotional. I don't know how Trump is inciting people. Um, you know, if, if anybody incites people, it's the leadership of the Democratic Party who keeps calling Trump a Hitler or a fascist and all these other things. We also reached out to State Representative Jake Banta who said, quote, As a state representative, I feel it's important to disregard the rhetoric and emotions today in our country and focus on real issues. I choose to look towards ending the wars we are in and work on closing our border, fueling the fentanyl epidemic. These events are responsible for a rough economy and felt by the working class who often now live paycheck to paycheck. We can do better. As a country, we should turn off the media, who often plays a part in our divisiveness. We should hold our elected officials accountable by their actions and, again, disregard the hearsay and rhetoric. Actions are what matter, and this is what will be most important in our children's future. Forward. Congressman Mike Kelly responded and said, quote, This election is about policies more than personalities. Under President Trump, America was more prosperous and more secure. The issues facing America today aren't just red or blue issues. They are red, white, and blue issues. And Mike, new polling shows former President Trump and Vice President Harris virtually tied in key swing states. Live in the studio, Philip Ward, Erie News Now.